this week's Mortgage Minute with Mitch. So uh, Cavs unfortunately fell a little bit short this year and uh, didn't quite make the playoffs, just missed it by one game. But I tell you, they were exciting to watch and definitely look forward to next season. Indians, they've been a little up and down so far early, but uh, I'm excited for them too. And if you don't know the name Stephen Kwan, you're going to want to know it. I think by the end of the season, you certainly will. Uh, get ready for a gorgeous weather weekend here in Northeast Ohio. Definitely going to feel like springtime. So uh, the topics I want to talk about this week, will a uh, real estate agent or loan officer be replaced by a computer? And, uh, you know, in this day and age, I know there's a big push for artificial intelligence and, and making everything kind of automated. But I'll tell you, there's one company, uh, you've heard of them, they lost about $420 million in one quarter last year by betting on artificial intelligence over the human experience. So uh, if that tells you anything, it's that you just can't replace a local real estate agent's knowledge. So hands down, it is a good idea to get a realtor, whether you're on the selling side, you want to maximize your profit, or on the buying side, you want to make sure you put together a competitive offer. Nothing is going to beat having a local real estate agent who understands the market, the little nuances to help you. Um, as far as loan officers, well, there was a company that uh, thought a uh, great campaign was telling people that it's as easy as pushing a button, that you could just literally go online, click, and uh, get a mortgage. Well, they found out that people weren't that receptive to that. They kind of saw through that and understood that, you know what, I think having somebody that really understands what, you know, how this thing works is important. So uh, you won't be hearing that slogan anymore from them. But I will say, I mean, just having a loan officer like myself that understands uh, you know, is it better to go FHA or conventional? You might qualify for both. One might have a lower payment, but what's better for you in the long run? Does it make sense to buy down your interest rate, maybe pay some points, uh, maybe put a little bit more money down? How will that impact you? So these are questions that a computer, for the most part, is not going to be able to answer or at least have a human-to-human -human conversation with you about. So uh, if you do want somebody on your side that's going to be able to answer these questions, navigate you through the process, let me know. We'd love to work with you. Appreciate you tuning in, and we'll see you next week.